particularly with something like cataract surgery, where there really are quite a few options that a patient can choose. I believe that my role with the patient is to describe all the options that they may choose from and then help them decide what is best for them. Because ultimately, I've known you for 30 minutes maybe, um, and you've known you for a lifetime. So I think in general, you would be the one better at making the decision. However, I have the education about what's happening with your eyes. So together, we work through and understand what the choices are, and then I, generally, I like you to make the decision. Despite all the technology we have today, not all vision can be restored. And in those circumstances, um, I think it's important, A, to never give up on a patient, because you can restore some vision sometimes even if you can't restore all vision. And B, even if you can't restore any vision, the person is still a person. I've had patients before that I I could no longer, as a surgeon, make any intervention that would improve their vision. But at that point, then, I feel like my job is to help them find the people and the resources who are going to enable them to use the vision that they have as best as possible, and not just abandon them and say, I can't help you. And for better or worse, I care about my patients so much that I lose sleep over them, I, I worry about them at home, I think about them on the weekend, I give them my cell phone number, everybody I do surgery on gets my cell phone number so that if they have a problem they can call me right away. Because I see myself as a servant of the patient and not the other way around.